today we're making vegan mayonnaise. And mayonnaise typically is so versatile, it's used around the world in a wide variety of applications. A lot of times it's typically made with eggs. And so a lot of people, while they do have allergies to eggs, uh, and also there's some storage issues, salmonella, that sort of thing. So we're now using a dairy-free version. Some people have started to replace mayonnaise using uh, milk instead of eggs, but also people have allergens to lactose and to dairy products. So with this version that we're doing right now, we don't have any of those issues, and we also have longer shelf. The base of this recipe utilizes potato protein. A potato protein is just what it sounds like. It's the, the protein of potatoes. And we get asked all the time, can we make this ourselves? I have potatoes, can I make my own potato protein? The answer unfortunately is no, because it takes a ton of sophisticated and expensive equipment to make it. You also cannot start with potato starch and then get potato protein. This is a completely different product, so you must start with this. So step one in making our vegan mayonnaise involves utilizing the potato protein that's already been hydrated. And if you haven't seen our video on that, the tradition, the preparation of that, check it out, it's there above. This is hydrated for at least 30 minutes. It's a 3% solution of potato protein, and the other 97% is water. So in order to mix this small batch up, we're gonna be using an immersion blender. So I just have the jar that came with it, and I'm pouring in just a little bit of the hydrated potato protein. Now I'm gonna whisk it. And this is just a mild oil. This is a sunflower oil. You can use any oil that you like to make your homemade mayonnaise. Potato protein is an emulsifier. So now, we're gonna give it a taste. Look at that nice texture. That reminds me of a brand I'm not gonna say, but I grew up eating this. It's the most classic mayonnaise in the world. Mm. And you can continue to make mayonnaise with any flavors you like. Use mustard, white pepper, a little bit of salt, even a little bit of vinegar. The sky's the limit. And that's a nice basis. So you can make aiolis. You can make delicious honey mustard sauces, ranches, and a whole variety of what we call derivative sauces using your base of vegan potato protein mayo. A fantastic advantage of this in a commercial application is that this mayonnaise will last, will last weeks, even months, in a commercial environment. So when you have inspectors come in, they're always worried, of course, about salmonella because we care about health and, and and longevity of products on, on the, the shelf. We don't want to get sick. But with this, there's no chance of salmonella. It will last for weeks and months. So you can be assured that you can make it just once, if you, however long you want, and then it will always be safe and consistent. We get asked often, can we make this in much larger scales and larger sizes? Absolutely. We're using this for demonstration purposes here at a much smaller amount because we don't have to feed the masses. But if you have a large scale production that you'd like to do, absolutely, you can use much larger equipment and it will scale up. And last, when it comes to food, we always, of course, are concerned about cost. So we have a chart here available for you to look at the comparison of this type of mayonnaise that's vegan. It doesn't contain any egg and any milk. In Every type of application we've seen, every comparison, this has always come out the lowest. So even people who pay very, very low prices for eggs in high volumes are finding that this is still more economic in addition to the other benefits. So where can you get this, you might ask? Go to veganpotatoprotein.com, hashtag, and you can buy this right online.